Hi there everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we'll be talking about emailing from Business Central. Okay, So uh, it's anything to do with uh, sending an email from your Business Central environment and sort of what we'd uh, need to do to uh, set that up. Okay, so let's get into it. In my uh, BC environment here, what I'm going to do is just search for a page called Email Accounts. Um, and this is the page that I need to come to to set up um, a uh, email account within the Business Central environment. Okay, now um, I've got a few accounts here already. So uh, you can see I've got um, three accounts. I've got my accounts, current user and sales. So I've got accounts at my Microsoft 365 demo tenant uh, on Microsoft.com that I've got admin and sales as well. OK, um, and these are just email accounts that I've set up beforehand. Um, and in order to set up uh, a new email account, what I can do is go to add an email account uh, and it brings up a, a wizard on the screen here. So if I go to next, um, I can choose from one of the three different options. So I've got uh, use micro Microsoft 365 mailboxes. So use, uh, for example, a shared mailbox. Um, I can set up um, the current user to be able to send emails uh, from Business Central. So uh, they would literally send emails from their signed in account. Uh, and finally here, I can use SMTP to send emails if I want to as well. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the uh, Microsoft 365 mailboxes option here. Uh, and very simply, I'm going to assign an account name and just put in an email address. So I've just made up a quick um, sort of email address there. Obviously, you'd need to do the, uh, the configuration, the setup um, underneath that just to make sure, you know, the email address exists. Um, you can do uh, emailing from the shared mailbox and make sure, you know, you've got the right people assigned and so on to that shared mailbox as well. Um, but once we're done, we can go ahead and we can say next. And from this final page, um, I can go ahead and send a test email or I can say finish. OK, uh, now that really, guys, is all of the steps that I need to take to um, set up an email account within Business Central. Obviously, there are some prerequisites there. As I mentioned, you need to make sure that the email address is set up initially before you go in and do that in Business Central. So in the next area here, um, what I'm going to do is just run through the uh, the options. So in the home area, I've got set as default. Uh, and you can see right now, guys, my accounts email uh, is set as the default account. So that's why um, it's grayed out when I'm on the uh, accounts option. Uh, but if I go to the others here, you'll notice, look, I've got the ability to set that as default. OK, so. Um, what is the default email account? Well, it basically is used when we don't have a scenario assigned to um, a, a particular, an email, sorry, assigned to a particular scenario. Um, and if I just go ahead and, and show you that right now here, guys, so if I go into email scenarios, um, what that will do is it will bring up a page where I've got all of the email addresses that I've got set up on my environment. So I've got my accounts, current user, purchases, the one that we just set up, and then my sales as well okay and i've sort of got a, a hierarchy here so underneath accounts look i've got customer statement and reminder underneath current user purchases i have nothing underneath sales i have sales credit memo and sales invoice and i can expand and collapse these different options or i can expand and collapse all of them right so you might have uh, a few email accounts with a few scenarios here so um, we've got that cool function to expand and collapse now, what's a scenario, guys? Well, a scenario is when I'm sending, for example, a customer statement from my business central environment or a reminder that is going to be sent from the accounts email address because that sits under there. Equally, when I'm sending a sales credit memo or a sales invoice, that's going to be sent from my sales email address. OK, and in order to assign a new scenario, if I just highlight the uh, relevant email address there, email account, and go assign scenarios. I can say, for example, that when we send a purchase order from the system, we want that to go from purchases at test.com. 
Now, all of this, guys, uh, was sort of leading up to the default checkbox that we were talking about there. So where there is um, a scenario that we have not got assigned to one of the uh, pre-existing email accounts, the default email address will be used, okay? So that's what the default email account is for. Um, and just going back to the home group there, um, I can compose an email here as well. So that literally brings up uh, a page and look, it's telling me it's from the current user. I can set a to address, a subject, I can put in a message, I can even add um, some files in here if I want to as well, okay? Um, so it's basically just a quick way that I can send uh, an email using the email account. So again, I can highlight the accounts um, email account here and say compose email and look the from email address on this one is the accounts email address. Okay, so let me just, actually I'm gonna keep that as a, as a draft in my email outbox, so we'll, uh, we'll revisit that in a second. Um, so I can also go ahead and send a, a test email. So let me just highlight current user, I'll show you from that account. So let me say send test um, email. And what I'm gonna do is just select uh, my own, or my demo accounts rather, um, email address here. And if I say okay, what that does is it tells me, look, that a test email address has been sent to my test email account at on Microsoft.com. Check your email for messages to make sure the email was delivered successfully, okay? And uh, if I go in to my email inbox, uh, it looks like I've had an issue there, so delivery has failed. I've got a, a bounce back, guys, but um, you get the idea, I guess, uh, not, not the, the perfect demo there, but uh, you'll get an email that says, um, you've you've uh, received a test email, um, don't reply. And it's really there just guys to check and make sure that your, uh, your, your email account is working successfully from within Business Central. Um, and the set email rate limit, guys, you can change the rate of emails that you can send per minute. Full disclosure, I've not had a chance to look into this massively just yet, guys, uh, but I know that you can set this to zero, um, to, to sort of remove effectively the limit per minute, okay? But obviously be careful with that sort of stuff, guys. You don't wanna end up hammering um, your, your, your mailbox there trying to send lots of emails. Um, and finally, guys, here, the, the delete email account I can just use if I hit that to delete the email account that we've highlighted at that point in time, okay? Um, and just a few others here in the navigate, so I can go in and say email outbox, and that will show me the outbox for that current email account, okay? So it's the current user that I had selected there, and you can see here, guys, there's nothing in here right now, but I typically, if there was a problem sending the email, you know, I'd have the, the error message, the sender, the sent from, all those sorts of details in this page, okay? Now, I did save one to my outbox earlier, I think it was for accounts, so here we go, guys, you can see the um, email there and it's just got a bit of details in here. So this one didn't have an error. I just said I wanted to save it in my outbox. But from here, look, I can go in and I can send. I can show error, investigate, show source. So I can I can do a few things in my email outbox. And equally, guys, the sent emails, look, I can go into that page to see all of the emails that I've sent from that email address. So here's ones that I've sent from the accounts. It tells you here, sent from accounts. Uh, and I can go into the email that was sent. I can see the actual email here. Look, I can see the statement. I can see the subject and I can see who it went from, which was the accounts email, who it went to, it was the admin email okay and then there wasn't a message body on this one but um yeah i've got all that information guys and look i can resend i can edit and send and show source to see uh, the page from where that email was sent uh, from here as well okay um so email scenarios we've been over already uh, and just finally on this uh, section of the uh, the video guys email scenario attachments will basically give us the ability to upload an attachment to Business Central and it will allow us to send 
that attachment alongside a particular scenario. Okay, so for example, where I'm sending a, a purchase order, um, I can send some terms and conditions with that purchase order. If I'm sending a sales invoice, I can send a brochure with that sales invoice, you know, that, that type of stuff. So maybe we'll do uh, another video on, uh, on that at some point in the um, future, okay? So that's the email accounts page in BC guys and some of the other stuff that you might need to set up if I go into customers here, let me go to customer 10,000 and here I'm gonna show you the document sending profile, okay? So the document sending profile, um, just gonna quickly show you if you're interested in emailing or generating documents from Business Central, you'll definitely wanna check this out. Um, I think we'll do a different video on this, a separate video, but I can basically set, look, do I want my customer to have their documents printed, emailed, is the attachment gonna be PDF, electronic or PDF and electronic documents? Uh, do I wanna combine PDF documents? Yeah, I mean, guys, I think we'll do a separate video on document sending profiles, just so it's a, a little bit more focused. Um, other things that I can do for my customer card here, look, I can go ahead and send an email uh, and that will literally just bring up an email box. The to email is selected from my customer card. I can put in a subject, a message and attachments. Okay, so it's just like I'm sending uh, an email from my um, Outlook, but I'm sending it from within BC. Pretty cool. Okay, and I say the email in the to box here, if I just close that down and discard, is coming from the email account that I've got set up here. Okay, so other things guys that you might need to set up here is if I come into my customer um, group and document layouts action, this page is what I would use to define document sending rules for my customers or my vendors um, for that matter, okay? So I can say, for example, where we use the invoice in conjunction with customer 10,000, the report ID is this, the send to email is this, okay? And I've done the same there for the customer statement, but you can absolutely go in and change um, that as you need to. Okay, so let's go to a sales invoice now and I'll just show you what it looks like when we're trying to send that. And uh, of course, guys, this is a demonstration on screen. So it's not um, typically how you might expect it to work when you're in a live system. You might send emails, you know, monthly, weekly, after you've posted. It depends, you know, from uh, customer to customer, but this is just manually sending a posted sales invoice. If I go into print and send an email, um, what I get then, guys, is a prompt box that comes up. And guys, look, the rules that I showed you just now have been respected. So we're sending it to the admin email account. I've got my subject. I've got my from email address. So remember the uh, email um, scenarios that we went through earlier it was the sales email address from which invoices should be sent. Um, I have a message body. And down here, I've got my PDF sales invoice attachment, okay? So I can then just go ahead and say send, or I can modify this information if I want to on the fly for this particular email. Okay, uh, and guys, I know we've been through it already, but let me just say discard. I can go ahead and say sent emails, um, and this, is basically going to show me all the emails that have been sent from Business Central. So I didn't send that posted sales invoice to our customer, to uh, our admin email address rather, but when you send it, if you send it, it will be shown here on this particular page. Okay, so I think guys, that's everything I wanted to show you. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you have any queries or questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, thank you once again for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.